Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Build series. Before we start this episode, I have a little bit of an announcement. Um, starting July 1st, so I'll have started it by the time you see this episode, I have joined an SMP called Hourglass. So I'm going to leave the link uh, to a video that describes a little bit more what the SMP is about in the description box, so please feel free to head over there and check it out. But I'm super excited um, to get together with a bunch of other Minecrafters and build some crazy stuff. And hopefully um, I'll be making content out of the SMP. I have yet to decide how, um, and because I am not going to be around for a couple weeks in the end of July, uh, my content will not start until about mid-August. So stay tuned for the new content coming soon. So... To start off this episode, I was looking around, looking around my little base area here, our mushroom, our barn, and I was just thinking, these builds are nice, but there's something else that we need to do. And so as was I was thinking, I was like, I started a path here, but it's clearly not finished. Um, I've been talking about building a bridge forever to get across over there. And just, yeah, there's just no paths, no landscaping, no nothing um, connecting all of these places here. Plus, this is still our farmland. This can't be still our farmland. So we'll see how much I can actually get done. But I think for right now, I am going to sleep and then we will start doing some paths. Okay, so I want the paths to be stone. As you can see in my inventory, I have some coarse dirt and some cobble deep slate and some tuff. So I'm hoping this will work for the paths. Um, when we, when I do go and find mushroom blocks, wherever I might be able to find them, uh, I definitely want to put some of those as greenery and then of course the azalea bushes and the trees and that kind of thing. Definitely want to decorate up with that. Um, but that's probably going to be for another episode when I actually go and look around and see what else there is to see around here um, and kind of map out the place I guess to see if I can go and find any oceans with any boats. So I'm going to start placing some blocks here and I will bring you back when I have something to show for it. Okay so I've tried a little something here just with tuft and cobbled deep slate. I did try it out there with um, some of this coarse dirt as well but it just it doesn't fit and I'm not a huge fan. But I think this ties it in a little more, and I think by adding some bushes, um, maybe a couple custom trees or something like that along the sides, I think that will be really helpful and will tie it in a lot more. So I like having the pond there in the center, so I don't want to get rid of it. However, I might consider making it slightly rounder here, uh, so it's a little less oblong. But yeah, so far I think this is tying things in much better. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the same idea and we're going to wrap the path around here because I want part of the path to go up to this nether portal. Um, I've also decided to push this nether portal back into the hillside and make more of like almost like a cave in there uh, and you would walk into the cave and then into the portal. Um, I don't think I'll get to that in this episode though, and it'll probably have to be the next one. So we'll wrap that or the road around that way. We'll also wrap it around this way. Um, and so that road will go up into the nether portal and then plus also come around and they'll meet up here. Um, and then we'll go over this direction and we'll build a bridge right there-ish. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out.
so I did go over to make myself a shovel and apparently I forgot to do that. I mean to be fair I um, have enough diamonds I should just make myself a diamond shovel but at the same time I don't want the diamond shovel to break and I want mending. So that is definitely something we're going to be doing in the next uh, I don't know couple of episodes I want to start a villager trading hall. So the reason I'm hesitating on the villager trading hall is mostly because I don't know where to put it right now. Like, should I put it over on that plains land right by them so it's easier for them to move? Or should I develop something like up on this hillside or down where my temporary tree farm is? I just don't know. So if you have any like thoughts or comments or whatever on where I should put a villager trading hall, let me know down in the comments. Now, because I want to move this up and into the hillside, I think for now I'm going to just kind of make the path go past it. Um, and when I actually rebuild that, I'll do it that way. Okay, so I think that's pretty good design there around. I'll probably fix it here and there. Like this one needs to be bigger. And maybe that one. So let's keep placing blocks. Okay, I'm definitely happy with how that is looking. So let me do a little bit more terraforming and grabbing a couple more blocks and we'll start in on that bridge. So I think next I want to start working on this bridge and then we'll connect the path up to the bridge. I'm unsure exactly how I want to do it because like I want to put it here but at the same time that seems like a really long distance to go so I don't know if I should just um, terraform the lake a little bit the lake it's a river terraform the river a little bit just to make it uh, slightly more narrow or if I should try an angled bridge and somehow I think that is not going to turn out very well so I think I will probably try and make it fairly straight here across I'm going to see what type of terraforming I can do right along here to kind of narrow it off a little bit. Then we'll get to making this bridge. I wanted to apologize briefly for the lack of in-game sounds. So that's kind of why I have the subtitles down uh, in the right hand corner just for my peace of mind because I can't hear game sounds either. I don't know what has happened but I've tried fixing it multiple times and nothing is happening. So. Sorry about that. Um, I will continue trying to fix it as I am able. Okay, what does that look like? Because if we come out this direction, like you don't want it super close to the barn, you don't really want it super close to the enchanting mushroom, but we could also curve it. Like we could have it come this way and then we could put it here. Yeah, I think we're gonna kind of try and match it up with those three spaces over there. I definitely want to use deep slate which is why I got these deep slate bricks and I am going to do it from this side starting. I think if we start it here and here and make this the starting point for the bridge I think that's pretty good. So if we do something like that it could be something like this. Hmm. I'm not mad at that. I think that looks kind of nice. I'm going to need some more bricks though so let me run over here and grab those. Also, just as we're running by, this area right here will be perfect for axolotls. So I think maybe if we did this, it gives it a little extra height. I need to go sleep. See, something here with some chains across, I think that could look nice. But again, it's slanted, so fences are probably going to do better. Um, also, for some reason, those are off. Can I not count? Yeah, I can't count. Okay, let's try this again. Much better. Yeah, I don't want it super tall. Like, it doesn't need to be some massive bridge by any means. So if we have something that comes up like this, and then this one will be up, and this will be the highest that this bridge gets, I can't say I'm 100% happy with this. Um, 
I mean, it's growing on me, that's for sure. Because then we'll have like a bit of a path coming up this direction. And of course, the village is right there. But somewhere here, probably at the top of the hill, maybe over here, I want to put a windmill. And then I want to start putting fields around it. So we just have to make the path up. And to be fair, if I put the windmill there, I mean, you'll still be able to see it, but this might be slightly in the way. So I could put the windmill right on the edge of edge of the river that snakes down through there. It might be nice. And then you could technically see it if you came out front. It would be right there. And yes, I need to cut down this tree. Um, I need an axe though. There we go. So that will break down, and then if I do put the windmill right there, that actually might be nice. Because then you'll be able to see through right there, and then I can just like cover all this hillside and all this hillside with, with paths and fields, which will then eventually transition into that village where I'll have a villager trading hall and probably some houses as well. Um, and I want to get uh, like a villager breeding set up, and so there's a lot to do over there. So let us try doing a little bit of archways because this is just too blah. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. If we had something like this, does that look great or awful? It's not horrible. I think I would probably do that. But again, these guys look too skinny. See, that's a little better. The bottom still seems skinny to me. But maybe let's just try this side and see kind of what happens once I have it put all together, if I still like it or not. See, that isn't bad. I actually don't mind that. It makes it look very medieval-esque, I guess you could say. Which, I'm not entirely sure that's the theme I'm looking for. Anyways, let's finish off this side um, and see where we're at. You know, I don't mind that. Uh, so let me just match up this path and we'll see what it's looking like. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. It just, yeah, doing the terraforming, doing the decoration, it adds so much to the place. Um, and I definitely want some bushes along here, some flowers. I want moss. I really want moss. I think what's missing right here is a custom tree. I can't say that I'm great at building custom trees. But I think we gotta do something here. So let's roll that time lapse music and get into it. there's our tree. It's not the best, but it's better than what we started with. So I did put some glow berries down underneath. I kind of wanted to have like willow vibes. Not really sure that I achieved that, but I do like this version much better than the one I had about five minutes ago. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, this is only like the fourth or fifth tree that I've ever, that I've ever made. But from this angle, at least I like it. 
it is growing on me. So I think once we have like the mine entrance back here done and those glow berries grow, I think it'll certainly add a lot more. Um, and I might even throw some vines on there or something, just add a little bit more weepy willow-esque. <laughs> and I really like it. It's so cute. Definitely not scar worthy or Gemini Tay worthy, but it's nice. And so overall between the bridge and the tree and this path, I think we've done pretty good work uh, in this episode. So if you like this video, feel free to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.